This is Crosshair Autopilot as it comes from the box. This is the main unit, GPS, SD sensor, harness, USB update, the cables for data radio, and this is the current sensor and the string tube. So uh, the current sensor is already pre-soldered? No. Not? This is what you get from the box. Right. And in this case, we solder these cables to save time. To save time. So we need more things to fly. Camera, it does not include RC receiver. We have three servos here aileron, elevator, rudder, electric speed controller, motor, video transmitter. This is UBEC. It does not include. It accepts six or four S uh, battery input. It outputs. 12 volts and 5 volts power supply and this is the um, 6S battery okay we also use a throttle transmitter connect this harness to the main unit or uh, you can see the red one is for uh, power supply the blue one is for GPS just connect the same color plug to the same color socket the yellow one for the uh, data radio if you have the radio, you can connect the cable here. The current sensor, we already showed this cable to get 6S power for the battery. So you have to en enhance here to support large current. Mm -hmm. And this little pigtail, this the red one, yeah, yeah, where yeah. does it go? We use this cable to get power from the mm -hmm. main battery. We connect this BC to get 12 and 5 volts for autopilot. We connect this cable. This is the input of BC. So once you connect the battery here, this cable um, is supplied 26 volts power to the UBC. It outputs 12 volts and 5 volts. This connector is the power supply connector for autopilot. We connect this red one here. AP power in. So we supply power to the autopilot by this connector. We have 12 volts power output. We connect. So main battery power comes from here, goes to BC, and converts to 12 volt power to the autopilot. And this is the 5 volt output. We use this thing to join the uh, servos. Connect to any connectors of the 10. There are 10 servo output connectors. We usually use only 1, 2, 3, 4. So we connect this thing to the last one. SP sensor, we connect the green connector to here, green one. You just can't make it wrong. There's only one way to connect them together. Right. And um, now I introduce this harness. You can see um, we mark every connector with its function camera, uh, video transmitter, and CH6 channel 6 mm -hmm. so CH5 channel 5 this autopilot supports all kinds of input from PWM, PPM, ASPAS, everything uh, in this case we use PPM so let's find channel 7 CH7 so in this case we use only ASPAS this is a special connector you can see PPM S bus. So you connect this thing to your receiver. Uh, you can connect S bus or PPM. This thing will automatically recognize the signal. Okay, so you plug it into PPM, right? Yeah, PPM. And uh, the autopilot will su supply 5 volts power supply for this receiver. Don't push it because this thing can support only 200 milliamps. We connect camera to 
camera mm -hmm. and video transmitter audio video transmitter so, okay now and okay now we handle the output of the autopilot we have three servos here and we have one ESC and motor autopilot it has 10 output for the servos so this one eight around servo we connect this thing to the first connector and then we connect elevator elevator mm -hmm. connect to the cell the second and then throttle push to put and the last one is for rudder RUD Output servers are connected. This is ESC, so it needs power supply. So the battery connect to this connector, and this is the current sensor, and this is for ESC. After you test everything, you can shrink this. Now you power on the whole system. We have all three pictures here. Even if you unplug the camera from this connector, we will generate internal video signal to replace the camera. You will see background. So let's use this transmitter to test. We move this at a long stick. So you will see this thing is moving. And we use the elevator. This is the elevator. This is the Roger and this is photo. If you move this autopilot, you can see the HI is moving mm -hmm. following you.